guys welcome back to Julie's journey if you're just joining us or if you've been here the whole time thank you for returning um, remember to like subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you get all of the content that I upload uh, I thought I'd hop on here real quick and show y'all what I do to start my hummingbird feeders because they're my little mad birds and I love them all the squeaking and popping and flying and and watching them eat and we just really enjoy them I've had had feeders out for several years and I just love watching them it is amazing how God can put so much attitude in such a little tiny body um, but uh, I'm gonna show y'all real quick what uh, I do at the beginning of the season which is to only fill my feeders about halfway up um, and that draws them in and it helps to keep from the sugar water from molding or mildewing because then that makes the birds sick and we don't want that because we love the little things and don't want to see them hurt so i have already uh pre-washed my um feeder here i bought this at tractor supply a couple years ago i found these and i just thought they were gorgeous and so um but i've already washed it with hot soapy water dawn is what I use on mine and I always make sure that I use a scrub brush and scrub it really good and get all that just kind of funky nasty and plus the food coloring out so here we go all right so two sitting you over the sink here so you can kind of see what's what's going on um so to my jar here I'm going to almost knock the phone off. Uh, I'm going to add, which I'm going to get a funnel. Normally I can get it from, get it without the funnel, but my hands are kind of shaky from the psoriatic arthritis today. So we're not going to do that. All right. So to this, I'm going to add, like I said, I'm only filling it up halfway. So half of a cup this is a fourth of a cup measuring cup so two of those a half a cup of sugar and it is pure cane sugar it's not uh beet sugar or potato sugar it's corn it's straight organic cane sugar and then to that about a quarter of what i want in there i'm going to fill up with hot water Put my hand over the top and shake it up really good and we'll put a little bit more hot water in there and this is just it helps to dissolve all the sugar when you do it with hot water then once all of your sugar is melted and incorporated a little bit more hot water in there Once your sugar is good and incorporated, I swap over and I'm going to put cold water in to cool it down. And then I also use food coloring. But when you're using food coloring, you need to put organic food coloring in it. And I only put just a few drops in mine to give it that red pinky hue to catch their attention. And then here is my lid. So we're going to get that on there. And now I'm going to take this outside and we're going to hang it up. And um, hopefully my birds will be back. Uh, feeding on it in no time so let me go show you where I hang this up at okay so just off the corner of our back porch I have installed this hook uh, it's actually strong enough to be holding plants up but I bought these because I wanted it to be super strong and um, it is underneath the awning of the porch here just enough to keep the feeder out of the weather and here y'all go. That's what it looks like all hung up. 
and uh, like I said, hopefully it won't be uh, just very shortly that uh, the birds find it. I think I actually hear one right now. I'm hoping it's Soldier. Um, I named one of them because he's really skinny and he sets and guards the feeder. And uh, he will also come up and he will buzz my head when the feeder's empty or getting close to empty. And he's just kind of like, hey, hello, my feeder's empty. I need some food. And so it's just really the cutest thing. So I hope that he comes back this year and I get to share that with y'all. Um, uh, last year, he had come back and he had, uh, he, he's kind of funny because he's got several different females. And so it was kind of cool to see his, uh, little offspring last year so i'm hoping he comes back this year and i get to share him with y'all because he is the coolest little thing ever and uh let me know if y'all like hummingbirds and um uh, hopefully i'll get to share a video of all of my beautiful little birds that come and feed and everything this year so thanks for watching